Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So we have one more support quest to take care of. I have already taken care of that one side quest we got last episode where I had to kill a few soldiers and that was pretty much it. And um, I also took care of a few um, ancients. Um, we have seen this one last episode. Arta Zostra, the Silence, um, judging from her name, she's actually Persian. And after killing her, I got a clue. Well, not a clue for another ancient, a clue where to find the clue. And that gave me this person over here, Pythias the Architect. So um, that's two more ancients down. I don't have any clue where to find this one. Not even a clue where to find a clue. <laughs> And um, I don't have enough clues to unveil the measure either. So that will have to wait until uh, we get more information. But until then, um, we will take care of our next mission. I have to free the Athenian general and his men. And it seems that they're just somewhere at the beach here. So not even a fort or a camp. Just a beach. So let's see what we can do here. Um, Don't be able to draw some of them into the bushes. Stop. Okay. How many? Spartans are we dealing with here? Not too many. Um, well, there's some camp over there as well. Don't move a muscle. Yeah, Don't you should. You should come over here. That's exactly what I want you to do. Okay, now they found me. So I guess the rest. I will have to take down and battle. Right, let's just use another power on the big guy. Whoa, this guy went flying all the way into the water. <laughs> but you survived. I mean, I guess you fell soft enough. Oh, that was quite the brutal finishing move. Um, okay, now let's free the prisoners. Do you mind I if I loot your comrade? You. That Spartan dog will pay, boys. She'll pay! That must be the Athenian Darius was talking about. I'm going to free him the last. What are you doing here? Rescuing you? Oh. you keep your voice down? It's okay, I have already killed everyone, so... This shouldn't be a problem. Be as loud as you want. This way. Apparently the Athenian general doesn't even have a name. It's just Athenian general. How odd. I mean, usually they give names to pretty much everyone. Oh, um, looks like we have a little, um, welcoming committee over here. Okay. Hero strike on the big guy here. And we got one more button over here. There we go. Good work. Good work. I mean, I kind of softened him up for you. You only delivered the finishing blow. So, where are we going exactly? Do you have like a camp around somewhere? Okay, apparently just a random spot. Anyway, let's talk. Oh, thank you. What do I call you? Well, you can call me Cassandra, but what do I call you? You don't have a name. That is, <laughs> that is unusual. 
<laughs> um, call me Eagle Bearer. It doesn't matter what you call me. Apparently, I can't even give him my actual name. Well, Eagle Bearer will do fine. Most people call me Eagle Bearer. The what? You heard me. It just... I've heard the stories we all have, but I never thought... I don't have time for stories. Right, right. It's these Malaka Spartans. We desperately need to loosen their grip on this region. Will you help us? At the moment, I'm not a big fan of the Spartans. Or their friends. The Persians. Yeah, Cassandra's no. only a Spartan when it suits her interests. I know those scared Spartans are richer than I've ever been, and should have run out of resources years ago. I was told to give you this. Uh huh. It seems we have common enemies. I can help you and your allies with your plan, but to do it, we must kill the Spartan leader here in Messenia. What's so special about this particular Spartan? He is a butcher. He's killed more Athenians than anyone, and he takes joy in it, I tell you. We know his location, but my men and I haven't been able to get close to him. You'll well, find it easier with me around. Yeah, that's kind there, of my speciality. That's his fleet. Ah, oh, his fleet, you say? Oh, he's on a boat. Well, that's a little bit different. Destroy the Spartan commander's ship and his fleet. Uh. So, is this why you put the address here, over here, all of a sudden? No, I thought I had to, like, infiltrate the leader house and uh, assassinate the, the leader. Especially since um, he's already, like, really weakened. Then again, the place is under Athenian leadership, so I guess it's not actually the leader of Messenia, just a random Spartan leader. Okay. I guess we are going to... You know what? I'm just going to fast travel to the boat. This might be slightly faster. Maybe. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Increase speed! We're at maximum speed! Alright, let's go. Grace. Oh, and I should remember to use my 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 uh, flamethrower. Totally forgot about that. Um, let's bring her around. Slow. And now let's make use of it. <laughs> All right. That is one shift destroyed. Increase speed. Hang on tight. And I guess I'm just going to ignore the Athenians. They are on our side. Of course. Maximum speed. Can't keep going at this speed. All right. Let's start the flamethrower. Well, I gotta be a little bit closer, or uh, it won't it won't be a second. There we go. I guess his grip on Messinia will be. Um, let's let's try to get the boat at a better angle so we can use the flamethrower again. Certainly, this is not not ideal. <laughs> Do this again. All right. Race! Yeah, let's be careful here about, about all these arrows. Barrage! And there we go. That's the weak Race spot. And flamethrower time. Come on, let's, let's, 
try to sink it completely while we're here. Okay. A few more normal hits, I guess, and we should finish off this one. And there we go. So, that's two ships down and two to go. They kind of got away from me a little bit. Need to speed up to catch up with them again. I guess they are so busy fighting the Athenians. Or maybe I just got away a little bit because I was so busy fighting um, that Spartan flagship. We spotted some salvage! All right. I mean, these are like tiny, tiny boats. I think you can leave them to me. Come on! All right. I don't think that you stand a lot of chance against my flamethrower. There we go. And one more. Oh, you're trying to you're trying to ram me. That's that's rather. Um, Reckless, considering the size of your boat. <laughs> okay, let's speed up a little bit. And let's finish off this one. There we go. <laughs> okay, I guess that's all the ships we need to destroy. Let's return to the general. Well, there's no... There's no fast travel spot in the vicinity, so I have to sail back. We've reached full speed! And then go on land the old fashioned way. And I got a bunch of bounty uh, for sinking ships now, no doubt. It's paid off. All right, General. How was the show? Did you enjoy it? That Spartan dog is just a memory now. You did it? Indeed. Thank you for your help. He didn't do anything. He only told me to go and kill them. <laughs> a Spartan butcher was no match for me. Of course. So, about the letter you gave me? I'll need you to live up to your end of the bargain, if you want the Persians out of Messenia. You can count on our help when you are ready. Okay, so I guess that's the end of this quest. Yes, it is. The Spartan dog. Can I talk to you again? Thank you. Well, just to get another thank you. Anyway, um, now that we're done with all the support quests, I guess we can finally go and uh, meet Darius again. The trap is set. Okay, let's go. All right, Darius, um, where the hell are you? Um, well, clearly he's somewhere inside this building. But how do I get inside? Ah, okay, there you are. Oh, what is this? Darius's notes on the cult. The cult of Cosmos act in Messenia and do so in league with the Order. Given Amorgus's influence in the Greek world, this is not unexpected. Natakas was always bewildered by the existence of another conspiracy so far from home, but I find nothing surprising about this. Regardless of creed or country, there will always be those who seek to dominate the world. There will always be tyrants. Right. I guess that's not surprising indeed. We've weakened the order. Now what? Now we move on to the next part of the plan. I'm listening. We'll take the order down under the cover of night. I have an Athenian general to speak with. I'll return to the lumber yard to prepare our next steps. Pebble? It's not safe here. 
I was asked to pass this to you, Eagle Thunder, mm. by a man in a mask. A man Pebble, a mask. you have to go. And don't speak to any more masked men, understand? It's not safe. Yeah. Yes, Eagle Thunder. <laughs> well, I guess you all wanted to ask. Meet me at the graves in Epia. What is the order up to? How mysterious. Mysterious letter. Eagle bearer, tainted one. You have cut your way at well through Messenia. This has not gone, gone unnoticed. Soon the time will come for us to cross blades. Before that moment I would like to speak plainly. There is much I want to know of the person behind the legend of the Eagle Bearer. Imagine there is also much you want to know of me. Could I tempt you with a respectful exchange? A respectful exchange? Consider it for posterity to humor an old man. Meet me at the graves in Apeia. Hmm, that's rather odd. <laughs> Sounds like a trap to me, but I mean... If it's really an old man, then I doubt it's going to be a match for me. So let's let's have a look at it. I think I just got... Yep, apparently it's a Magi who sent me this. The record keeper for the Order. The Magi is skilled in diplomacy. The Magi works to advance the Order's plan for the Greek world. The Magi is called the Herald. The Magi is named Gerges. Okay. The you smallest want to talk doubt to me. can destroy the greatest confidence, and we all have doubts. Hm. I mean, he clearly is an old man. The best victories were those won without fighting, and winning by persuasion was Gerges's gift. He could convince people to act against their own interest and think it was their idea. Amorgus recognized his talent, bringing him into the order as Persia's most respected diplomat. After years of watching his beloved country strangled by thoughtless policy, Gerges was easy to convince. Huh. Interesting. So, he may want to convince me of something, but I might also be able to convince him. Because he might have some doubts about the order. Okay. Let's, let's meet. Mysterious Magi and see what exactly he wants to talk about. Oh, that's that's the nation leader, huh? I haven't recruited any of these in a while. I could use someone with your strength. Join my crew. There we go. Moiros bring out Hypnos. Hypnos is sleep, right? So basically he makes you fall asleep. Um, this is not like a restricted zone. Well, it kind of is. Um, okay, but it looks like he's on the other side of the wall anyway, so I have to find a different way to get to him. I think we have like a gate over here. Alright. Okay, that's the graveyard. Um well I don't want to disturb all the morning people here. That's a lot of dead Eagle people Bear, in the grave. Well met. I see you got my note. Hmm, I'm surprised I'm still alive. That could change. Indeed. Hasty. No need to be hasty, Eagle Bearer. Let me introduce myself. I know who you are, Gergis. My name is Yeris, the Yeris. last Magi of the Order. I've been eager to meet you, Cassandra. May I call you as such? <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't really care what you call me. Confident. I like that. Give me one good reason not to put my blade through your throat. Where is Amorgis? Where is my son? I have the answers you seek, Cassandra. I know what happened in Ahir, in the village called Vime. Vime? What do you know? Tell me! 
I was there. Things are never what they seem. Your reality is limited to what you perceive. Ride with me. I've been wanting to speak to you. I'll show you how beautiful our world can be. Shall we? One wrong move. I understand. This way. Where are you taking me? Somewhere nice. <laughs> I want to learn more about you. I don't trust you. I followed your journey from the beginning. I've written quite a bit about you, actually. In fact, some of my most popular work is about the Eagle Bearer. Okay. In addition, I've heard of your tales from our friends. A cult? I didn't think the cult made friends. <laughs> Allies, then, if you prefer. Well, I'm surprised you allied as well, given your different philosophies, but I guess it doesn't really matter to either of you. Anyway, color me intrigued. I don't trust you, but I'm curious to see where this is going. Scattered across the Greek world. I spread the Come word on. of our doings, of our heroic deeds. Heroic? You call murdering innocents and burning villages heroic? Narrow. The order Come sees on. things from a broader perspective. Hmm? We do not seek ephemeral peace. Our work is eternal. Laka. Bella. <laughs> uh, Cassandra is not impressed by your work. Look around us. Such promise. You must be wondering why we hunt you. Off we go. I've killed enough of you to have an idea. Ah, you're a force of nature, Cassandra. Have you noticed? Danger is drawn to you like vultures to a battlefield. Oh. So you simply cannot resist. You'd kill someone because of their blood? You disgust me. We are not the enemy. Have you considered yourself? In our eyes, you are the manifestation of turmoil. Disruptor of peace. Don't be so quick to judge, Cassandra. There are many perspectives. Okay, but I understand you haven't killed Elpidius yet, even though he is also a tainted one. I'm surprised that uh, you apparently show restraint. A little child. Yeah. Right. Ah, oh, look at that view. This is going to be Miss a picnic. Mia. Quite the beauty, isn't she? Get to the point. I know what happened in Vime. How Natakas died. Are you brave enough to hear the truth? Sure. Hit me with it. I want to know everything. We saw no one at the beach that day. No Natakas, no child. They had escaped. Or oh, so we thought. Until we heard the cry. It was coming from a ship, wrecked on the shore. The soft but unmistakable cry of a child. Elpidius. There was nowhere to run. Natakas tried to resist them. It was futile. The baby was all that remained. Okay, so you just took him with you for some reason. I will find Amorgis. I'm sure he would expect you to try. What do you want from me? Our stories are written by a rare few who have the power to shape them. It's not every day I can speak to someone like you. There are no absolutes, Cassandra. Not even with tainted ones. You are fireborn with the potential to destroy, but also to warm, to cast a light in the dark. A warmth you try to destroy? People die, Cassandra. Eventually we'll all be forgotten, fading away like a distant dream. Our actions, however, if they're meaningful, will be remembered. Well, you get no argument me, from me here. What do you want to be remembered for? Bravery, compassion, ruthlessness, death. Um, hmm. 
I don't know. I guess I um, would pick between bravery and compassion. I mean, it would be nice if you could be remembered for more than just one thing. But given the situation, maybe I'll go for bravery. I want to be remembered as someone who never backed down from a fight, even if the odds were stacked against them. Hmm, insights. Such a wonderful insight. Thank you. You're kind of weird. And now we must part. The question is, will you allow me to live with my life? You die now, just go. Well, I mean, it wasn't a trap as I suspected. He came here unarmed and he didn't really try to attack me or didn't pose any threat to me, so... All right, all right, I'll give you a chance. Just leave. Leave. Before I change my mind. Your baby, Elpidius. He's safe. That much I can tell you. <sighs> Anything else? It was a else? pleasure to meet you, Cassandra. The next time we meet will likely be the last. Attackers. Probably. Experience. I'm sorry. Especially if you actually do decide to stand in my way the next time. Yeah, what's going on here? Well, maybe it's not a picnic. It, it's a bunch of stones. Memorial to the Immortals. My comrades and arms tales of your bravery will be remembered for ages to come. Oh, I see. This is kind of like a little memorial. Memorial to the Tempest. I fought to change your cause in life, but in the end you couldn't escape your fate. I guess Hergis put these down. Memorial to the Huntsman. In your absence, my old friend, we shall continue to keep our vow to protect Persia. Your death will not be in vain. Well, that's kind of fascinating. Um, yeah, I think it's only three stones I can interact with. I suppose these two stones are for the two immortals. Okay, well, fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> but it's not a picnic. It kind of looked like a picnic at first. Um, anyway, uh, we have some time left in this episode. And since we don't really have anything else to do, I still don't know where to find this ancient. And yeah, I mean, this guy is not crossed off my list. We had um, situations before where we could talk down a cultist and then you know, he would disappear from, from my list. But since this guy is still in, in my diagram, I guess I will eventually have to kill him after all. So I guess it may have been faster to just do it now. But whatever. You're not going to escape. You're not going to escape. And yeah, I guess I will go back to Darius and uh, we will discuss our next, our next step. Oh, hang on a second. Oh no, this is this is uh, the quest for Lysander that I don't intend to finish. The one about the Polymark seals. Okay, let's let's go and uh, talk to uh, Darius again. All right, Darius, I am back. What's the next step? Oh, it's the nameless Athenian general again. That is. We meet again, Eaglebearer. Good, you're back. Now to set our plan in motion. We will set several fires. The smoke will force the Ilotis to flee and draw Amorgus' guards down from the mine. Striking at the heart of the enemy while minimizing the cost of innocent lives. A wise plan. I will see to it that my men light up the rest of the area. Okay, and what's my part in it? What happened? I found out about Natakas. Nothing happened. Well, I think he deserves to know as well, huh? 
Nataka died protecting Elpidius. Someone from the Order wanted to meet with me. He was there, Tarius. They found Natakas in the shipwreck. He tried to fight them all. I mean, that isn't really news, though, right? I mean, that's more or less what we already suspected. This was Natakas's. I haven't had a chance to... Uh, I forgot I even took it. Huh? He's gone. He's really gone. And he's never coming back. I'll never forget Natakas. We have to move on. Um. Yeah, we do. But I guess that feels like the right thing to say at the moment. I'll never forget that is. I miss him. Even now. I miss him so much. We'll have time to grieve when this is over. Right now, we know Elpidios is alive. It's time to get him back. Right. This is what we have to focus on now. Can't save Natakas anymore, but we might be able if to save Elpidios. Is here, Elpidios must be as well. Once we start, we can't go back. They will come at us with all they've got. You really think that uh, Amorgus kept Elpidios with him and didn't take him somewhere where we can't find him? I don't know. I guess we will find out. Let's do it. It's time to attack. The price may be... everything. I know the price. Okay, that part of the plan seems to be working. Time to find the boy. It is. Kill the soldiers approaching the lumber yard. Okay, apparently, before we go and try to find Elpidius, we need to take care of a few soldiers. Okay. Hopefully, we can just drop it down on this guy when he's close enough. Yep, we can. Here we go. Um, well, maybe I don't want to run into the burning building or climb the burning building for that matter. I don't know. I guess as long as I stay away from the flames, I, I will... It will be fine. Search every house. The eagle bearer is nearby. Watch Got another back. one over here. Um. Well. Maybe I'm just going to. Oh, I don't have. <laughs> I don't have any arrows available anymore. It doesn't matter. Oh, um. That's that's not exactly what I uh, thought would happen. Um, I'm kind of in, in a weird spot here. I can't properly <sighs> climb up here. Can't properly stand on it. Right, let's get rid of this guy first. And now let's deal with a soldier that we actually have to kill. Apparently we have a few more that want to join the party. And again, I really only need to kill that one guy over here. Do I not? Maybe I'm just going to ignore all the others. Let's just go for 
The final soldier over here. Smoke is too thick. This is useless. There we go. <laughs> and I'm off again. So, talk to Darius. That's easy enough. Are well, these guys still following me? Well, some of them are. Ah, sooner or later, they will stop following me. What is... What is that over there, though? Hmm. I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be connected to my quest. Um, but... Uh, let me... Pay off the bounty first before we continue. Right, Darius, where are you? Oh. What? What did you do here? Ah, I see. The general and the soldiers are attacking the fort. Very nice. There is a Morgus. The mines. But you'll never get around his defenses. I'll destroy Amorgus's defenses. I'll try to find a way through. Ah, oh, I'm very good at finding ways inside protected areas. I'll be fine. Nothing is impenetrable. We'll find a way in. You're insane, both of you. You're going to tell Amorgus that the Eagle Bearer, the great disruption of the Greek world, is here at his door. You tell him I'm coming for him, for Elpidios, <laughs> and I don't knock! The... You know, maybe it's not such a good idea to announce yourself that way, if you want to stay undetected. Oh, um, sorry about your man. And, um, well, sorry about you, I suppose. Go! I'll take care of the order guards. Okay. I mean, he held up his end of the bargain. I need to get to the mines. <coughs> I'll take out as many as I can on the way. And he gave his life for that. Um, okay. Reach Andania mine. So apparently I'm not even trying to be stealthy. I'm just going straight for the mines. Regardless of... They won't ask any Potential questions. enemies. Let's keep out of sight. All right. Let's do it. I mean, there aren't a lot of soldiers here anymore because our distraction worked well enough, I suppose. Okay. Oh, well, but we do have a few soldiers around here. see how many of them are following me well it looks like they're not actually going to go all the way into the mines you can't hide from me Amorgis. hmm so far I'm not seeing anyone inside it's too quiet this mine yep Oh well. Who are you? No, no, no! Oh. <laughs> I guess I was standing too close to the fire again. Um. Okay, but that guy over here seems to be a civilian. Yep. They're all civilians, apparently. Stop hiding, Amorgus! Come get what you deserve! But this loot looks interesting. Oh, um... Whatever it is, it is interesting. We meet again, Eagle Bearer. <laughs> you know yeah, this that didn't take long. Is. Just walk away. 
It's not that simple. Amorgis has orders, and I have duties to fulfill. Oh. And I have no intention of walking away, Cassandra. After all I've written about you, learned of your feats, I know I can't defeat you. Yet, I cannot simply stand aside. We both have our reasons. For me, it's Persia. Make it through me, and Amorgis oh. awaits you in the temple. We don't have to do this. There's no choice but to fight. Come on, I gave you a chance. Why don't you just use it? Morgus is using you! Don't be stupid! We don't have to fight! I do this of my own accord, and for my duty and devotion to Persia. The will of Amorgus has nothing to do with it. Your loyalty to your home and commander are admirable, Yeris. But the Order has no place in the Greek world. Everything the Order has done, everything I have done, has been in service of a cause greater than any individual's. So, all the deaths and suffering, that is justified? For the greater good, Cassandra, all things are permitted. Interesting. Die! Interesting. But okay, if you want to die for Persia, that can be arranged. And... I kind of knew I was going to set myself on fire again. Um, okay. Oh, uh, that was a completely misplaced overpower. But it's okay. I will... I will not miss the second time. And now for the second guy. Alright, um, now let's confirm that kill. Since you were so eager to die, I will oblige. I didn't have to do this. Pani with it. Pani with it. So, that should be the end of the Magi. And. I got another hint for the final ancient. An ancient was at the wetland southwest of Mount Ithome Fort at the Bay of Hades in Messenia. Okay, um, hunting down that final um, ancient is something I will again just do off camera, I suppose. Um, and now we just have to take care of Amorgus. I mean, as far as I can tell, there isn't really anything else for me to do here. Other than paying off my bounty. <laughs> Legacy of the First Blade. Confront Amorgus at the Temple of Zeus. Okay, so the next step is going to be... Well, presumably the final... Final confrontation. A new beginning. For decades, Artaxerxes has brought peace and prosperity, but Persia needs more. From promise of legacy and glory to coercion and threat, unlike the, his predecessors, Artaxerxes refused to yield. But the order needed him dethroned. We led him to believe that Artabanos made the attempt on his life. Well, that is interesting. So, it was the order that wanted him gone. Artaxerxes has lived, but no matter. The king is ephemeral. The order is eternal. Okay. That's interesting. After the storm, Achaia, where the order of the ancients tasked the temp tempest to brew up a storm, the eagle bearer, no stranger to helping those in need, sought to help stranded refugees leave such dangerous waters. But the great disruptor was soon caught in the midst of a tragic family feud. The great disruptor, is that another name for Cassandra? And with her final breath, the tempest passed into memory. The eagle bearer settled in Dime, looking after baby Elpidius, while watching the once raging waves now gently lap at the shore. The Herald. Huh. Interesting. I guess these are more notes that he wrote because he wants to chronicle everything. Chronicles of the Ancients, a record of the order of the ancients' history through the ages maintained by the Herald and his scribes. The order was founded many generations ago in the faraway land of Egypt and spread over time to Persia and beyond. Okay, so now we have um, confirmation that the order is indeed uh, a descendant of the order formed in Egypt. And I guess a cult could technically be 
a descendant as well, or at least influenced, but then they kind of changed and, you know, found a different philosophy and a different, um, a different way of doing things. Um, Meddingly, much of the document is obscured by code and cipher. The full extent of the order's reach is unknown, but it is clear that the Morgus and those who serve him are but one part of a vast and greater conspiracy that threatens the entire world. Okay, so I guess it could have uh, spread way beyond Persia and it could have reached Greece as well, so the cult might be um, a slightly, a slightly uh, perverted offspring of the order for all we know. Also, I still don't understand why this weird um, dot is still here. <laughs> but okay, um, I guess I'm going to end the episode here. And in the next episode, we will uh, go and confront Amorgus, hopefully. So, as always, thank you for watching and see you again next time. <laughs>